Hello viewers out there, um, we're back to the table and um, we have to carry on with this um, great interview. So I'll allow her to carry on with the processes that she went through when she first published her first book. So viewers out there, please be attentive. Those of you who want to um, who wanna start writing and then doing your publishing and all that, you want to be authors, please listen whenever she's expressing this valuable information. Okay. So carry yeah. on with where you, you left off. Okay, yeah. right. Okay. So like I was saying, so the they content do the evaluation. Content evaluation mm -hmm. and then they'll do the editing. Okay. And then the main publishing process would start like the sizing of the book mm -hmm. will be agreed upon. Okay. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. any images that you want to use mm -hmm. for the book, will right? Be agreed as well. Will be agreed mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you don't have your own images then they will give you like stock that stock images mm -hmm. so they will give you access to stock images so and then you will pick, pick which mm -hmm. one you want that okay. aligns to the purpose of the book okay, yeah. sometimes you will find free ones sometimes you have to pay mm -hmm. so you pay or you get the free ones and then you get the ID and then you send the ID to them with the image and that would confirm to them that you have the um um what is it called um that will confirm to them that you are you are agreeing to what they asked they've sent or what yeah the image is like the you bought the image you. so it's yours now oh okay yeah. so it's like a patent right that's right yeah, yeah. so you have copyright. the right copyright yeah. yeah so you mm -hmm. have the right mm -hmm. to the images yeah okay. and then the the rest of the process will carry on. So if there's any queries that need to be resolved, they will come back to you. They will send you messages and then you go back and then confirm or reject or this or that. So yeah. when is the final stage whereby they will decide that, okay, we've finished with all the editing yeah. and all that, so we have to publish? Yes. Um, even that, that, even mm -hmm. then, they will send you the clean, they call it clean manuscript. Mm -hmm. So they will send you the clean manuscript. You go to make sure that, okay, you accept everything about this. And then you confirm that, okay, I've agreed. Go ahead and then do all the, like, the covers and everything, you know, and then that's it. So with the covers, they yeah. also bring you what the sizes and the that's pictures right. as you've selected yes. the pattern, right? Yeah. And then how you want it to How you be, want it to be yeah, done, and done. And then, yeah. Okay. Like this one, I put two images. Yeah, two images. So, so what what stage do they proofread, or they don't proofread before they start the um, publishing process? The proofreading is the editing. It's part of the editing. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. So you had yeah. that. The proofreading is part of the, part editing. Of the editing. So the yeah. first one is yeah. the content evaluation. After the content evaluation, you come to the editing. Mm -hmm. The editing proofreading is part of the editing. Yeah. So these are all some of the processes that you go through. Mm -hmm. And then it's paid for. Yeah. Nothing is for free. It's paid for. Yeah. So viewers out there, if you want to really become an author, make sure that you have a little bit of money to pay for all those little stages yeah. of the um, book. And one more thing. Mm -hmm. When they finish, when the process is complete, they will send you two clean copies or one or two clean copies. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. everything, if it's been bound and everything, the images, everything, like the final, mm -hmm. They will send it to you to have a look, mm -hmm. and then if you are happy, you tell them, you know, you send them a message to accept, mm -hmm. and then they will go ahead and then put everything online. Okay. So my publishers, they do everything, Amazon, iBooks, my books are everywhere. Okay. So they do that for you, because mm -hmm. everything is in the package. So... They, they put everything out there for you, so you don't have to do it yourself. Okay. Yeah. Viewers out there want to know how much you pay for all the processes and then the publishing, so that at least people will have an idea of what to expect when they are going in for that transactions. Well, it mm. depends. Some people would not... Some people would do the, the, the editing themselves. Mm -hmm. So that would be taken out. Okay. And for so me, I go for... Do. that depending on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Um, they have all the pricing. 
I yeah. believe um, you just go online and check for the price and yeah. Okay, yeah. because it might be it different. It might have from been your, changed. Because yeah. your work will be different because that's right. it depends on mm. your uh, word count as well. Word count, that's and right. Your yeah. chapters mm -hmm. and all that, yeah. the number of pages. Mm. So you have to take all that into consideration. Yeah. So we can't give you a price here yeah. unless you go out there, you know, specify with your work let it align to your work and then they can give you the price and so that's what you're saying now so what where do you get your ideas to sort of develop your work your projects <sighs> any time i write mm -hmm. most of the time especially for two of my books be positive be great and then from day to wealth mm -hmm. it's about life issues i go through okay yeah for example, from debt to wealth, it's like everybody owes. I've been I've owed before. Um, and so you sort of resonate with what people go through that's in it. life. That's right. And then you give them your experience yes. and all that. Yes. So okay. what mm -hmm. I've been through owing the banks okay. or owing individual people, mm -hmm. the stress that actually that debt gives mm -hmm. you which I realize is not good for anybody. anybody. Yeah. And then when I changed my mindset, mm -hmm. right, and then I wanted to come out, through that process, everything I learned through that process, I wanted, to, I wanted it to stick with me and then also to teach my children mm -hmm. and for my children to teach their children's children. So anytime I write, it's for me mm -hmm. or for my children or for close friends or family members but at the end of the day it becomes for everybody so when i write it's me and then it becomes everybody so it's like if it comes out as a very 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 good work okay and then be positive be great it was things that i was going through at work so i had to motivate myself in order to enjoy my job mm -hmm. or to move on or whatever I have mm -hmm. to do. Okay. Because stress, negativity is not good for your health. Good. So I had to change and I had to change my mindset. I had to change everything about me. And that actually led me on to write that book. Okay. Viewers want to know how many books is under your belt? How many books have you written? Oh, yeah. yeah. So I've got four books. Right, quite uh, exciting. Yes, my first book is um, The Student Entrepreneur. Yeah, let's see it. Let yes, show them. yes, that is this the, the first book, The Student, the Entrepreneur, student Entrepreneur. As I showed you earlier yeah. on. Yeah. Which and one is then, your second? The second one is The Global Entrepreneur. The Global Entrepreneur. Yeah. That's the second one. That's the second book. Yeah. Excitingly, and that it's oh, this is my baby. The be positive, be, be great. great. Yes, that's, that's the third it. one. That's the third one. Be positive, be great. That's yeah. the third one. Yep. Yeah. And then this is the fourth from death to wealth. From death to, to wealth. wealth. This is what we need to build our generation. From death to wealth. Yeah. Viewers, you know yes. what? Four books under her belt is not easy. But I want to ask her. Which one of the four books is her favorite? No, oh, it's very difficult to pick. Which Come one on, of these four books is your favorite? <laughs> well, let me put you on the spot. Oh no! But my, my the, oh gosh. Which one of the four books? Uh, let's let's know it now. I can't. Which I can't pick this. Oh, it's these three. <laughs> so the no, three seriously. are your favorite. Oh yes, yes. All right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I can't. Now, it's now, now I want pick. you to help my viewers out there. Yes. Can you pick? one of each of your books mm. and then tell us something you know summarize something that will help them out there yeah. in life or in any endeavors that they are going through or they are planning to go through please yes you want to know something at least learn something from you today okay right so you won't allow you to go without any information oh. so please <laughs> open your ears wide yeah. and let's tap it from from here yes so from debt to wealth, mm -hmm. so as the title says, it's it is it right? Mm -hmm. So I talk about coming out of debt. Okay. If you have any debt of any kind, mm -hmm. right? No matter how long it will take you, it's very important that you pay it off and you start afresh. Yeah. Viewers, did you hear that? What about if you don't pay it off? Can we ask that question? 
What about if you don't pay it off? What happens? Well, if you don't pay it off, um, it's mm -hmm. like forever you'll be servicing debt. Like, let's say you have a loan with the bank. The interest alone on that loan could have been your investment or your savings. Okay. But you are paying it to the bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you are out of pocket. The bank is laughing. Mm -hmm. But this is the time that we have to be our own bankers. Mm -hmm. To be your own banker, you don't have to owe. Mm -hmm. Save the money. If you want to embark on any project, mm -hmm. take some from, if it's important, right? Take the money from your bank account mm -hmm. to finance that project. When you finish, you can put the money back, right? So that is being your own banker because if you didn't have the money, you go and borrow from the bank to go and do that project and pay interest. That interest is what we are trying to avoid. And for the fact that you owe a bank, mm -hmm. yeah, you owe someone, it's so stressful. People, a lot of people can't sleep, can't have quality sleep because they owe. And this is what we have to avoid, right? But before you invest, yeah? So after paying off the debt and then you have to invest, depending on your life cycle, there's the kind of investment that you can do, I can do, mm -hmm. or my little girl can do, but I can do. Or it's not advisable for me to do because, because there's because life cycles. Age. Yes. The age. Yeah. yes. So investment is based on life cycles. Life cycle. yeah. Your age. Your age. Yeah. yeah. If you are too old, some of the investment don't even don't venture. even venture. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. So a younger person, mm -hmm. right, have more time. Yeah. And then doing so they've only just started. They need money for to buy a house money for education mm -hmm. money to buy little 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 stuff mm -hmm. yeah so this is the time and they, they have more time okay. however they don't have they are not earning enough mm -hmm. okay yeah. so they can't have big money to save or invest okay, okay? Mm -hmm. so the process is to invest slowly but because they have more time they can actually invest in stock Stocks and shares related products. Okay, did you hear that? Yes. Stocks and shares yes. related, related products. products. Can you right. give us an example of that, please? We want to know. Before I go into that, mm -hmm. let me explain this. That okay. Because of the volatility of stocks and shares, mm -hmm. right? One day it's up, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. fluctuates. One day it's up, the next day it's down. When, when people see their investment drop, sometimes it gives them heart attack mm -hmm. especially when they are older okay but a younger person so are you talking about like number <laughs> one in, in, in Ghana? Oh, <laughs> number one men's gold men's gold investment yeah. drop this is a huge controversy right. yeah all right. right okay so because you don't a, a, an older person would not have time for the investment to readjust yeah. Because even though it goes down, it will definitely adjust and it will go up. But a younger person has more time for the adjustment to take place. So they can invest in stocks and shares. So it's all about planning. It's all about, mm -hmm. yeah, planning, you know, knowing your life cycle yeah. and your risk appetite. Mm -hmm. Do you have appetite for, for risky risk, higher products, risk. higher risk products? Mm -hmm. Okay. It pays more for a higher risk product. However, can you... Do you have the appetite for that? Do you have the heart to embrace the, heart the is, shocks that's it. and the turbulence when need arises? Yes. That is a problem. Isn't that's it? right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, like, um, an older person, like a middle-aged person, have more... Well, it's kind of... They are trying to... It's like you hit your career, okay? Let's say a 40-year-old, you know, you have... 10 years or 45 years, you have like 10 years to um, start off your pensions. Yeah. 